Football season is still months away, but this afternoon, the parking lot in front of the Broncos Stadium had that familiar football field. Uh, Nine News reporter Katie Eastman has the story of a teenage Broncos fan who wants to be a part of one more Broncos tailgate. There we go. Some days you want to repeat over and over. We are tailgating. This is it. This is one of them for Justin Howe. Just a tradition. Every Sunday we bring out the, the, the giant Jenga. A tradition that isn't supposed to start until Broncos season. Oh! <laughs> but Justin's son, Martin, can't wait. They all love you, Martin. You know that? That's all this is, is a bunch of people that love you. He knows. What prompted moving out to Colorado? That's why he picked this place when the doctor said he had just a few weeks left to live. Look behind you. All of that. Yeah. It's the players like Peyton Manning who surprised him on the practice field. The announcers at the Nuggets game who gave Martin the mic. And the people who welcomed this Portland, Oregon kid in at his first game seven years ago. They want to make sure he tailgates one more time. It's a get together with the people that I love. He asked for it, so we made it happen. We like to say for his final ride, there's no better place we'd rather be than Colorado. The 18 year old is dying from a type of cancer called diffuse B cell lymphoma. Just trying to enjoy our time as a family and do everything we possibly can on his checklist. Justin Howe won't have a day like this with his son again. <laughs> but the memory will play over and over. After the time we have left, one of our biggest inspirations is I always love to see how his eyes lit up when we'd walk into a sports stadium. We want to pass that on to people. We want to send people to sporting events in his honor. In Denver, Katie Eastman, Nine News. Uh, there's something so special about that those final uh, days and weeks. You know, we don't often think about them until mm -hmm. they happen, and it's days like today for for him and his family and others that makes you think about how great and special life is. Yep, you know? and. Um, I think it's amazing that they want to share their story yeah. and show kind of what they're going through um, to maybe open the eyes of other people who maybe are going through the same thing too. And I think uh, create a legacy for this young yep. man and it sounds like they want to do more work uh, certainly while he's still here and beyond. So if you want to follow the Howe story you can find them on Facebook under Nitty Strong. That's N-I-T-T-Y Strong. They're hoping to pack in as many Colorado things into Martin's life as they can. If you have any suggestions, let us know. And I also think this is a testament to the people of Colorado mm -hmm. because they chose to spend the last days, last time, you know, moments that they have with him here in our state. And it's a sad thing, but that was a fun day. Yeah, it was a great day for him. And that's what it was all about. Mm -hmm. mm.